ahead. We'll be underway. Game number one in this best of five matchup here in the second chance bracket. Also, I guess you could call it the last chance bracket if you prefer. But we'll have to wait and see. And here we go for on underway game number one. Quick little programming note for everybody else out there. Fire Broth and 40 Watt Range will play on Monday night. Uh, neither one will be eliminated from the tournament, but you want to win to the quarterfinals in the top half. Yeah, you definitely want to have that positioning in the upper portion of the bracket. That way, if you do somehow lose along the way, you can at least afford it as opposed to having your proverbial back against the wall. And what a time from Upla here coming out of Arena 1. This is going to be ridiculous. It's like a 38-5, which is absolutely insane. Tapatio throwing down about a 42 and a half. So it's about a four-second lead, but it doesn't mean a whole lot. The first drop here means so much more. If Hoopla gets an orb or a rocket, well, it gets a nuke. Not the best drop to start with. And grenades for Tapatio J, probably even less valuable than the aforementioned nukes. Hoopla appears to be hunting the orb drop here, picking up those grenades, whereas Tapatio is ignoring drops uh, away from the middle generally and just trying to get set up. And Hoopla almost walked back into a shrapnel. That was close. Very dicey. There's the razor shield on Hoopla's end, but there's the orb for Tapatio J. That orb, important because as you can see, it doubles the firepower, but Hoopla's going to be in to eat my shrapnel first. But Tapatio holding on with some very subpar drops and overall a little less desirable than what Oopla got. Still hanging around, but it's about a six second lead as we headed to Eat My Shrapnel. Eat My Shrapnel, a room with 18 shrapnel to kill. You only have a maximum of four on screen at a time. So you don't want to let their numbers build up or you'll spend a lot of time in this room. Yep, the shrapnel are those slow moving overall characters that in hindsight, kind of look like Oompa Loompas from Willy Wonka, now that I think about it, just without the uh, weird colored hair. But that notwithstanding, Oopla is going to be out in 205 into Total Carnage, and Tapatio just looking to finish off those last shrapnel. Still about a 7 8 second lead, so about the same. No ground lost. That's what you want to see with that room. And now we're into the real part of things. Whoever drops that orb will be at a serious disadvantage here. You want to see razor shields like that for Tapatio J, and you want to see rockets. You really want to ride that vitamin R train to Maltville. A spreader not necessarily terrible, as it certainly covers a lot of ground for widespread enemies. But now things kind of drying up. There's a nuke for Uplo who's going to ignore it. A dude over on Tapatio J's side. That is a one up and gives you an extra life. Not you're really important on easy because you have four credits, and if you can't finish easy with the four credits, you've got some problems. We got some late rockets here for taps. Maybe you could carry them into the next room. Uh, looks like a little bit might be able to kill the gunners in tank trouble. Uh, that could be helpful. But first things first, it's time for some product placement for on. Oh, Taco Bell, Taco Bell, product placement with Taco Bell. And how, how are you guys feeling there in, in, in the chat tonight in uh, GG Speedruns? You excited for this double header? Two eliminations coming here. Let's see what Oopla is going to get first drop. Feet on the feet. So just a little extra speed. Not a great opener. At least with that invulnerability, can ignore some of these exploding shrapnels and gunshots. And Tapatio takes it down with the remnants of those rockets. Very nice opener for Taps. And more rockets for both. And a spreader to follow up for Hoopla, who's really making good, aggressive shots here by uh, just tapping the button to make the blast a little bit longer. Because rockets, as you know, can rip through the swarming enemies. Big groups, one shot can kill a whole group. More rockets here, and more rockets. Wow, these drops are fantastic. Both of them have got to be ecstatic. Look at that. There's more rockets here right at the end of the room. Hoopla's on a crazy good pace here. But Taps has made up ground. It's a near dead heat in the mutoid man's room let's wait and see what we're gonna get here Brock. man it's about a second and a half maybe two second difference so a good amount of time made up there by tapatio j rockets to start for taps oh look at this it's the death in the spreader what a position Well, okay, uh, double arm blowout going on here. I unfortunately uh, cut out right as that spreader was 
getting set up. So it looks like uh, Ookla really took advantage of that great location on that spreader. Yep, there's a certain sweet spot with the spreader where you can, if you very timely position yourself, you can basically do nine times the damage to Mutoid Man that you would normally otherwise be able to do. And now both of them riding the consistent damage in rockets here. Uh, Ookla with a spreader opportunity. Gonna grab it, gonna try to manual as the chest blows open on Tapatio's side. Upla goes down, though, on the manual. Bit of an opening for taps here. Probably wants to see Spreader next drop. Yeah, he's going to need to see a Spreader soon as we're on the final form for Upla here. Does pick up the lobber before it disappears. There's the head popping off, but there's already a couple of form difference. Tapatio needs a Spreader and is not going to get it. And barring some disaster here, Upla is going to take game one. Yeah, Oopla got that great spreader uh, early on in the fight, and that opened up the gap here. But Tapatio, I am really impressed with how well he played this. He got less fortunate in RNG, but his tank trouble was better played. Yeah, he played significantly well and is going to be probably about 15 seconds off of a PB here. Just a couple of extra rocket shots onto Mutoid Man as... Uh, Kind of a stone cold salute in that sense, and it's going to be a 621 here. So eh, 20 seconds, 21 seconds off. A 604 to a 621, and given where their PBs are, that's not too terribly far off. As Upla's PB is about 27 seconds faster than Tapatio J's. Absolutely. So we'll get them set up here for uh, race number two. And something to add to the Monday night slate, in addition to 40 Watt and Fire Broth, we have our final elimination match uh, of this current crop of matches, where Ares Fire Tiger will be taking on uh, Jackamus Wedge. A uh, bit of a tough ask for Ares, but the improvement has been there, and it's nothing as a gimme at this point in the festivities. Yeah. Good luck. And one that uh, both runners will certainly keep their eye on as... Uh, well, actually, I should say the runners of this match will keep their eye on as... We got a lot going on here. I'm, I'm keeping... I'm getting all my brackets mixed up here. The winner of Jacquemus and Aries will uh, be taking on Telio. The winner of this current matchup will be taking on the loser of 40 Watt Range and Fire Broth, which I believe is also this Monday night. For sure, and uh, once we are set up into the uh, top 12, the final 12, uh, we are going to have some kind of... Uh, oh, we got, oh, apparently someone's visiting my house right now. The dog is losing its mind. Uh, the, from Mr. Dino and Kreeloach, we are going to be seeing um, something interesting coming along that they wanted matches done in a certain order. So we're going to get there for the start of those elimination matches around the prize pool. I will have to wait and see what that is. We're underway here, Ferran. Game number two, both getting their razor shield, and now maybe just hoping for a nuke to end the room. Yeah, you like to see it, I think it's around the 51,000 point mark, I think, from what I remember you telling me. Uh, you Somewhere thereabouts, depending on whether you gather that prize in the middle. 52,000 is the bare minimum you can score. There's a minimum of 104 enemies you have to kill in that room, but you can have up to 114 if the spawn into the room is unfortunate. Neither getting a great drop here, but Tapatio able. Able to pick up the orb here and is going to utilize that. Meanwhile, we've got an orb on Oopla's side as well and some spreader damage. So, advantage Tapatio in this case here. There's a Razor Shield. Might be a little late in the room to even bother with it. I mean, I, I appreciate the, the thought here. Um, but with two shrapnels on screen, I would have considered. Either way, Oopla does a good job and gets up first, but it's, what, a couple seconds, maybe? Yeah, it is still rather close here into Eat My Shrapnel. Oopla gets shrapnel. He didn't see the shrapnel above him exploding early and gets taken out. Oh, wow. Huge opportunity here for Taps, who also gets some rockets as well. Hoopla taking game number one. Uh, just keep in mind, Tapatio here trying to tie it up and has a real opportunity. These rockets and razors are going to help Hoopla. Just hoping to see an orb drop now. Taps probably just going to wait on that rocket. 
picks it up at the very end, has one to empty in the clip, gets a... Oh, wow. Has a little bit of trouble here and is going to end up being just a hair behind Oopla, but maybe a second. And, uh, oh, taps. Oh, no. Makes that classic mistake. You've got to make sure you've cleaned out all of those swarmers before you move. That's going to get in trouble, but he does get a shot at a replacement here. Gets it. Now, can he get back to the middle? Solidly does, but is really behind here due to that razor shield drop on Oopla's side. Oopla just in control in the middle here. Taps having to do a little bit more dancing. And picks up the spreader. That's going to help. Temporarily going to help, and that razor will help him. It's late in the room, but you want to take it unless it's nothing else is spawning. It's always a useful thing to have. These rockets are going to help Taps. Here's some rockets for Oopla. See who's going to get uh, a grenade to the feet for Taps. It is going to be around a three minute mark exit here for Oopla. Can Taps. Oh, could have used that nuke, but probably didn't recognize that was the end of the room. So it's going to be about a 10-second lead here for Oopla, as we've got some Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Product placement with Taco Bell. Bingo. Now, it's a kind of a reverse of last time here. Oopla's got a bit of rockets on hand, and Tapatio's coming without a weapon. Now, I don't think it's, Oopla's enough to get both here. And maybe if it spread it out, could have gotten them both damaged enough to take them out there, but really went ham on the one gunner. Wanted to make sure it was gone, I suppose. Rockets to start. Can taps. Wow, what an escape from. Whoa. And a and razor shield reward for it. A razor shield drop in this room is fairly unlikely. Rockets. The mulk is flowing for Tapatio J. Can really hold down the middle. More rockets, though, for Oopla and more rockets. So both of them. Getting great drops in tank trouble. You love to see it. You most certainly do. There's a spreader kind of out of the way for taps. Going to leave it alone as that's right by the door. And I don't think with that razor shield, it can even get it. So shame game. And oh no, there goes the orb. And there's a death for tap as well. Oh, I just saw Tapatio. It fr freeze frame for me on him losing the orb. So coming in about, looks like 12 or 13 seconds back. Uh, and you were correct, that spreader was unreachable due to the razor shield. Missed ball buster from Oopla, the shooting as swung the orb in there. If you land the orb right at the base of the neck on Mutoy, man, I know. That guy looks like he has no neck, I'm aware. Uh, you do 42% of one form's damage, 168 damage. Here's another spreader set up for Oopla. As uh, cards would say, RNG favors the favorites, I suppose. Most certainly. And to that no neck reference, uh, looks a lot like late great King Kong Bundy. More than a little bit, that is yeah. true. And Oopla, Oopla gets a spreader here. Tournament record's not out of the question. Probably not gonna happen now. Here's a spreader chance for taps, but I think it's gonna be too little too late here from the game. Oopla just keeps getting those early spreaders and can build a... Here's another one for Taps. Is Taps... Oh, Taps decided to lay off here. Needs that refill. Gets it. We're going to the final form. Oopla's got no transfer. What is... Just gets the rockets. Here's the final form for Taps. Needs another weapon, though. There's some rockets. Oh, no, it's not the final form. Just missed. One more form to go, but I think it's going to be over now because Oopla's got a good angle and a lobber here. Should be able to pound it home and get it done. Taps final form. Oopla having trouble landing oh, the killing just ball. Does it. But gets it done there. So again, another close one. And Tapatio J, much like his match against Mr. Dino, not doing anything wrong. His opponent is just seemingly getting a little better luck early on the Mutoid Man fight. And that means so much. Yeah, I'm, I, I, I just gotta say, I'm really enjoying this consistency from Tap DOJ. Uh, from last year's tournament to this one, the consistency is really showing. Just running into a buzzsaw right now of some excellent, excellent early RNG in that final fight. Yeah, Taps has uh, gotten a little hose with the drops, but that's kind of the RNG that is Smash TV.
Absolutely, and remember, we have another match following this. Zexy and Rumbordist, if they are in the chat, could they make sure they are live on Twitch so we can switch over in a reasonable facsimile of time? Uh, hopefully, Rumbordist will be available right away. Has does have work hours that can stretch sometimes. I mean, worst case scenario, I could always hop on stream and job to somebody. Yep, that deserved that amount of silence. I appreciate that. I'm taking care of getting the race underway. Plus, yes, I would have given you silence for that regardless. So good thing <laughs> for you. Uh, I just call it like I see it. That's what I do as a broadcast journalist. So Rai is getting things underway here. Race number three as Upla looking to sweep things out. Tapatio J looking to force a game four and work on the reverse sweep here. We are in arena one. Taps, of course, using a slightly different variant having the uh, emulator set up. Still gets that razor shield, so the opening looks a little different. Uh, getting it there, and so far so good. No one's been sabotaged with grenades or uh, nukes in the middle of the room, which you don't want to see. And look at this, Taps, very hot opener here. It should be around a 39 versus probably a 40. Yep, a high 39 versus a high 40, so about a one second and maybe change difference between the two. Chat, make your prediction. Can Tapatio J force a game four, or is Google going to sweep himself into the uh, money rounds? And drops favoring Tapatio here thus far, just with the razor shield of the feet. Spreader for Upla is okay, but nothing special. Grenade's not for Tapatio, and probably going to be four. Ooh, nice bit of dodging there from Taps. Get some rockets. There's the last of the Razor Shield, but also the last of the room. An orb, though, late for Upla, so at least we'll have that already taken care of, but that lead is a solid six seconds or so. And good rocket use here from Tap TOJ. Needs to pick those rockets up, though, and needs to start hunting for an orb. You don't want to leave Eat My Shrapnel without an orb. Did Upla die? Upla died. I didn't see how. Oh, but good. again, Upla goes down and eat my shrapnel for him. That seems to be the Achilles heel, at least thus far. Well, but it, you know, it could just be RNG manipulation with those drops in the Mutoid Man fight. Who knows? Either way, Tapatio, Tapatio J running out of time for an orb pickup. There's a replacement for Upla. Upla has been not wanting for orbs this whole time. Okay, taking a quick look at the replay, it looks like Upla got swirled at the beginning of Eat My Shrapnel. So, despite that rocket use, uh, Tapatio J was a little, I'd say, a little reluctant to shoot at the Swarmers and actually gave away a second or two because the Swarmers outlived the uh, shrapnel counter uh, time. So, a bit of a mistake there for Tapatio J. A little too reluctant to shoot at them, maybe, and keep the rockets for the shrapnels. It cost himself a bit of time. Well, it is a delicate balance considering the spawnings of the two. You don't want to necessarily focus on the shrapnel and leave the swarmers behind, nor do you want to focus on the swarmers. And next thing you know, you've got shrapnel just coming in very slowly into the room. Tabatio J got clubbed down there uh, during that explanation from Furon. Thank you, Furon. And on top of that, uh, Upla actually blocked a shrapnel uh, explosion piece with the orb. I don't know if it was intentional, but it got the job done. Finally, an orb for Tapatio J. He's got right, to keep bye, this locked down right. at this point. Yeah, the lead already growing here for Upla. And now with uh, very little time here, I think it's time for some Taco Bell, Taco Bell product placement with Taco Bell. Quesalupa. Runny Poopa? I don't know. My goodness. Here I, here I was going to make a... You you're just, you know, you're not buying Taco Bell, you're renting it. That's something about time. You already went there. Good job. <laughs> Either way, Oopla doing his best here to keep the middle and doing a great job keeping the orb healthy as well. A spreader for taps. Not a bad drop. Might be able to get rid of a gunner. Trying to get to a refill. 
gets there, doesn't even take those bullets, just casually walked along them. Finally gets there and needs that nuke and gets it done. Rockets though for Oopla, oh boy. Chat, chat did not like our back and forth there. That's, that's disappointing. Of course they didn't. Well, Oopla's on a good pace again here and Tap's doing a fine job, but not getting the luck like last time. It's a 421 here for Oopla. Let's see how far Tapatio will be back. Trying to get through. Ooh, that tank could have sniped. Does lose the orb late in the room, but uh, maybe not that late. Still has shrapnels rolling in. Oopla, meanwhile, getting oh, heavy drop. And, but Mutoid oh, might, block on it. It. might block it. We'll have to wait and see. Yes, he blocks it. Tapatio gets a break from the heavens there as Oopla unable to get the early spreader. So, despite that large time gap, not that far behind. As you can see, Oopla hasn't popped an arm yet. And now some lobbers here for Taps to start. Going to try to take out the gunners and do a little bit of damage here to Mutoid Man. Does take out the gunners. Needs to get the lobber and does so. First arm pop for Oopla. First arm pop for Taps. Another spreader opportunity, and this time Mutoid moves away. Man, Oopla just buying spreader luck today, it seems. But this one won't, oh, it will get a glitch toy. I was thinking it might come up a bit short. It did get it done. And gets that lava refill and dodges the shrapnel. Wow. Horrible. Great footwork here from Oopla. As the second arm is popped now, Taps gonna have to manual that spreader. Looking to see those fireballs disappear. A few shots have landed. Not a bad manual here from Tappa DOJ. Trying to keep in this match. Gets run over here. Is looking for a spreader and gets one. A actually, oh, he's going to park on it. He, he, sets up. he sets up for Tappa DOJ. Should get to final form here. Gets taken out by a uh, shrapnel explosion. Doesn't get the grenade. If he didn't fire, he might have reached it. A bit of a mistake. Oh, gosh. And look at this. They're basically oh, coming. At the same time, practically. Can Taps Jeff missing some shots. Here. They both get spreaders as the next one, and this is going to be key. Who can make these work? Taps with a crazy grab. It. What a grab for Ron. Gets those grenades, loses his range. Can he get the shots? And he does. He does. TOJ is going to get it done, guys. What? What a race. You can see explosions on both sides here. It's going to be a 643 to about a 645. You can see about a two second difference between both of our runners here and Tapatio staves off elimination. Oh, unbelievable. Just crazy that, it, you know, since, since I'm here and I'm going to do it, the TSN turning point there was that spreader <laughs> grab. How in the world did Tapatio avoid that crazy vibrating bald tank man to get that spreader and was able to get it done with the grenade to follow? I was going to leave it alone for once, but all right, you got it. There you go. I, I have no idea. That was, that had to have been near pixel perfect, that grab. To sneak in, get the spreader, and sneak out and be able to do that final bit of damage. We have a prediction going on there. Will Tapatio tie the series? Make your prediction now. We're using some channel points. Once they ready up, I will get them underway. And remember, we have another match coming up after this. Drum Bordeson Zexy with a spot in the money rounds on the line. But the loser will be out of the tournament. This has been a wild elimination Saturday. And who knows what else we're going to see at this point here. I got to say, Mutoid Man has been giving Oopla the better spreader locations. I don't think, I think Dabatee has had one in three races that's been in a spot where you want to take a death to have the invulnerability to pair it with. Oopla's had four. One of them was blocked, but has been able to use three of them during that. And another underrated part of that race, uh, for on the previous year, game three, Tapatio J had a manual, got more than a four with a manual. 
really well done on that movement. Most certainly. Game four underway. Tapatio looking to even the best of five series. Hoopla looking to take it three to one and advance on into the money rounds. We'll be taking on whomever loses between 40 watt range and fire broth. That race comes to you this Monday night. So Hoopla with a bit of a, assuming a new cue based on position there, about three seconds ahead hitting him to collect power ups. A long time chatter, first time viewers. This is one of those games where the rich get richer. Well, that is the rumor. We'll have to wait and see how that pays out here. Uh, slight advantage, Tapatio, perhaps, but that vulnerability, not a rotten uh, drop, especially if you have a foot on board, although I don't think it would bounce. Now, meanwhile, back to back spreaders here for Tapatio, just kind of working on the. Oh, oh! and he gets shrapneled! Tried to cut underneath the shrapnel. A bit of a mistake there. Will cost him, perhaps. We'll see if the game takes mercy. Man, I don't think I've seen this many invulnerabilities in the opening room. Good job by Hoopla, I guess, trying to use that to get out of there at a reasonable time. But 126, that death is not really going to hurt Taps. It's only about a five-second uh, difference right now, neither with an or. Hoopla oh, almost getting shrapneled again. Or not shrapneled, swarmed, I should say. Swirled, one of those words. One of those S words. So an orb for Tapatio uh, has rockets as well, needs to get those, is being too cute. Get them, get the shrapnels under control. Don't worry too much about saving shots, just get out of the room. You're fighting for your tournament life, it's no time to be min-maxing at that level. Another razor shield for Oopla, oh my goodness, game. That's silly. An invulnerability that's kind of a pointless uh, venture at this juncture. So it's going to be about a 2.13 and a two low, high 2.14. So about maybe a second and a half, second and three quarter difference between the two. But the lack of an orb for Oopla means that time's going to start bleeding. If Tapatio, using this Razor Shield, can stay healthy, wealthy, and wise in the middle of the room, it's going to start building a lead. There is an orb for Oopla. We'll have to wait and see how much time was bled off trying to fight to get that orb. Well, not a whole lot of drops for Taps to capitalize. There's a nuke, which it looks like he's going to ignore. Nope, he gets it the last second. Not a terrible idea at this point. Clean out the shrapnels. You're near them. Ooh, grenades on the feet. Hoopla does a good job to keep the orb alive. Now going to use a nuke to clean the room up. And Taps just whittling things down here with that razor shield. Late razor shield for Hoopla. Who will be out first? This nuke might actually set up... Uh, very nicely here for Oopla. And Oopla uses it in the room, but it is Tapatio J. So that lack of an orb coming in, the lead has changed as we head to Taco Bell. Taco Bell for some product placement with some Taco Bell. Game number four, guys. The opening drop in the next room is going to mean so much. Bingo. Really want to see those rockets or a razor or a nuke here. Uh, all quite good. Vulnerability is even not terrible. Vulnerability for taps, which is, you know, medium. Redder. Look at that. Is that a razor oh, shield for Oopla? The nuke. Oh, he loses the orb to get to the nuke, I should say. And Oopla gets a razor shield, then spreaders on the feet. Tapatio runs into a mine. Oh, that's potentially disastrous. It's rockets now for Oopla. The rich getting richer indeed. And now look at this. Look at this. Great move here oh, by Oopla. Wow. Breaks the razor shield to get to that rocket along the wall. Oopla drops the rock, uh, the orb late, but the room's pretty much over. Just needs to finish things out. An orb loss for taps. And another orb, and he, and he loses dies. it and dies. Oh, oh no. He's having, he's having a rough go here. He's going to need some up. Another I orb. He gets this power. one, but that time bleed is real here. That RNG was very nice to uh, Oopla. Oopla! Oh my goodness! Oopla saw the invulnerability with half a spreader clip and was trying to go get it, and the swirl takes him out! Oh, that is rotten. And then a key! Oh. Oopla has done no damage, really, to Mutoid Man, so it's essentially a tie. Let's see if Taps can maybe get a good spreader location to start here. It would be nice. Bolt making good use of those lobbers right now. Taps just focusing on the gunners, trying to get rid of the threat. Looks like Tap got the ball buster. 
I didn't think he did, but I'm not 100% on that. And Mutoid blocks the spread. Oh, the no. It was a long way to go and not easy to reach. That is that. I thought that was an invulnerability. Nice grab of the lobber there for Taps. But over a form behind here as Hoopla has popped both arms. Tapatio just popping the first arm now. And now the chest is open. Hoopla. Oh, goodness. Making great use of lobbers here. Consistent damage if you land them in the sweet spot. Field triple damage. Taps taking a death? That's not a very good thing, especially with rockets appearing. Chest is open, but Oopla's probably going final form here in a second. He's gonna ride out those lobbers, gets the empty drop of the key, and I think at this point Taps is gonna need an empty drop on Oopla's side and a spreader on his side. But Lobber's in hand and a refill available. Mutoid moves nicely. Oopla should be able to finish it out with this clip. Just needs to avoid taking an untimely death. An invulnerability will help with that. And... Oh, there's another Lobber, and that's going to do it. A good job by Tapatio J. Just not able to get it done today. Unfortunately, exiting the tournament. But his goal before the tournament was to not go 0-2. Getting smashed by two rookies. And even though he's exiting on a rookie, he's also fighting our probable rookie of the tournament here. Uh, it's been a, a bit of a hard luck road for him again. But played very well and just came up a little short, unfortunately. Hey, rookie of the tournament? You mean I'm not in the running? You're in the running. It doesn't mean you're going to run through the <laughs> I'm, I'm in the lumbering is what I am. No, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> so with that, guys, our first match of the day is over. Coming up next... Drumboardist, one of the, I believe, only two veterans of all five tournaments uh, that we have available and around, is going to be going up against Zexy, a rookie from last year's tournament, a very good player.